Frost Alert Forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickin. Well, we do have some rainfall in the forecast here over the next seven days, but you'll notice in comparison to this map that we've been showing uh, last several days, we're starting to see this kind of thin out. Not as much rainfall is expected over this next seven days and more of an average that we would typically see this time of year. That's some good news because not only do we have a lot of things going on activity wise, but also we're going to allow those rivers to start to fall a little bit. So that's some good news there for this weekend. Saturday is going to be the weekend's best for heading out to the John Deere Classic. We will be dodging some showers today, but very light. Just take your umbrella. It's not going to be a washout. That's the good news. Sunday, though, a little bit more widespread, but a little bit warmer on those temperatures. Take a look at exact track here. We'll time out these shower chances and really it's going to be a, a touch and go deal throughout the afternoon today. Uh, so again, just as you're heading out, take that umbrella and uh, we're not going to see uh, these aren't going to hold over top of you for hours on end, but they'll be quick moving. So that's all thanks to a low pressure system that's moved through and uh, kind of spinning these showers around. Once we get into the overnight hours, though, those will end. So late evening overnight, we will start to see drier conditions and clear conditions throughout the day tomorrow. Again, beautiful out there, so make sure you get out and enjoy it. A little bit of cloud cover builds in once we get to Saturday night, then Sunday morning. We watching this next system that moves in here and uh, from west to east here. We will move this band of activity through here. We are at 10 a.m. and yeah, it's starting to kind of clear out of the Iowa counties, but Illinois counties will see that linger through the morning into the early afternoon. We will see a little bit of clearing come late afternoon before more storms uh, will develop in the late evening hours, and we'll have to watch these. Maybe one or two of these could be uh, a little bit more uh, on your stronger side, not really expecting severe, but maybe some heavy rainfall within some of these. So we'll be watching for that. That moves through by uh, Monday morning, and we'll see some redevelopment uh, come Monday as well. Monday, we will see some more rain for temperatures today. Not too bad. It's more spring like here into the mid to upper 70s. Thanks to that cloud cover and that storm system that's moving through uh, tonight. We'll be dropping into the 50s. So another night you can open those windows and give that AC a break because we'll need it back by the time we get to Sunday. Temperatures though very comfortable here on Saturday. We're in the low 80s and then once we get to Sunday temperatures once again start to climb, but this is actually where we're supposed to be this time of year here into the mid 80s. Maybe a, a run for some upper 80s to the south. So definitely more on par with what we're supposed to where we're supposed to be this time of year. As we head into next week too, you'll notice that trend upward trend here as we head for maybe some 90s on the long range. So it, hey, it's July, right? We expect that uh, here for precipitation too. Sunday, Monday, definitely gonna be the best chance over the next seven. We have a few chances here and there, but uh, you'll notice that stays in the isolated category over the next eight to 14 days. Looks like we might stay uh, right about where we're supposed to be this time of year. Average rainfall is expected uh, for the next six hours today. Again, showers, very light shower activity. Uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Winds a little gusty out there, maybe up to 20 miles an hour on those gusts. For tomorrow, though, we'll be watching as we could see another beautiful day. Sunday, we'll be watching for maybe some storm chances. 84 degrees, but look at those temperatures as we head into next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We are into the mid 80s with lots of sunshine, so uh, some good news there. It's definitely a much better forecast than what we have seen over the last uh, couple weeks. So. Yeah, and it's uh, nice to see that we are trending drier in the extended yes. outlook, so we'll allow those river levels to reach the crest and uh, gradually kind of fall here toward the yeah, end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's not going to be one of these deals where uh, I think the last two weeks it's been almost daily yeah. storm chances. So that is gone. Yeah, definitely good news. All right. Thanks.